What's up, partiers? We are starting the show a different way this episode. We got a new little toy on the set, a little gift uh, from some friend. Here we go. Party. Let's go. Best podcast out there, Paulie. Yo, baby. Let's party. How we doing? Number one podcast out there. I mean, we're getting there. How yeah. about that intro, baby? Intro. I love it. Uh, we got a new toy on the set, as I you know, as I said. Hopefully you saw it. If you're on YouTube, we got some nice new intro. Yeah, the guy. Uh, what was, weren't you following this guy on TikTok and then you hit him up or did he hit uh, or we You commented on the TikTok yeah. that, hey, we want a life's a party, one of those. And he, he followed through. He came through. That's our guy. So it was a pretty cool thing. Um, TikTok, we love it. You know, you make connections. We have two things on the set that are from TikTok connections, which is pretty cool. The first, what we talked about, um, Low Key Less. He Low gave key us. Low Key Less. <laughs> uh, guy. He, he was awesome. He gave us this custom planner, which is a miniature basketball, which is super dope, behind Ryan. Boy, I can get it. Yeah, there you go. Show it off a little bit. Show it off. Can I spin it? <laughs> oh, whoa. Hey, oh, whoa. Still going. It's okay. Uh, but pretty cool. And then something else, too, was the, a Magic Band reader. So if you've ever been to Disney uh, World and you ever used a magic, brand, a magic Band, it's pretty cool. So that's how you get into the park, how you go usually if you stay on resort property. That's your, like, hotel room ticket. You can use it for Fast Pass. Um, you could use it to pay for things. You could link your credit card to it. So it's pretty cool. And, and now you could use it to light up Life's a Party set. Yeah. So it's I, a cool contraption. It's custom for us. The guy makes all a bunch of different Disney kind. He has a website, I think. So if you like this, as maybe uh, Christmas is coming around the corner. Yeah, that's right. So Christmas is coming around the corner. You have a girlfriend that likes Disney. Your family likes Disney. Hit up his website. I don't know if he has other people that work for yeah. him so he could do a mass production. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He So we found him on TikTok. Uh I forget what his name is exactly, but we'll put it here. And uh, he's just really cool. I've been following him for a while on my own personal TikTok account, and he makes custom Magic Band readers. And he usually makes them for, like, different attractions in the park or different things very Disney-related other than the traditional Just Mickey Mouse one that you see at Magic Kingdom or at Disney. So um, he had a video that went pretty viral, and I commented on it. It was like, yo, you know, we, it was in the time where we were looking to upgrade the set and do more stuff. I was like, we could do a custom Life's a Party like Magic Band Reader. Like, how dope would that be to light up the set? Pretty cool. Contacted them. Um, gave us a really good, really good deal on it. And now it's part of the set. That's how we light up the show and how we're starting every episode. He has his. He has a couple that they hook up to the front door. Yeah. And, like, your kids will come home with the Magic Band. They hit the Magic Band. The door unlocks. Yeah, there's so a lot of really like cool things. Key. So it's a really dope contraption. All right. Contraption. Contraption. <laughs> Speaking of contraption, scuba. Uh, I'm starting yeah. off with a scuba. Nice. I got to nice. get into a rhythm. Okay. This is a streak number two of doing another scuba. The can one really grew on me. I was like, I need to do the can again. Okay. So I'm going to do the can scuba. Scuba, we appreciate you. 10% off. Uh, we kind of went away with scuba. Now we're getting back in the scuba game. Well, yeah, you know, we had, we were focused on the set. We were doing a lot <laughs> with the set, um, but we love scuba. And it's just like, it's cool. All right. Ten oh, percent off. Life's 10%. a party at scoobeer.com or go to link in our bio at Life's a Party on TikTok, Instagram. There he goes. It's just one of the best drinking tools out there, honestly. It really is. Like we love it. We use it on the show, clearly. We've been using it for a while. Long drink. Great to chug. A little partnership we have a long drink they give. <laughs> He's struggling over here. They gave us some t shirts and they gave us some hats today, so shout out long drink. Yeah. We have to venture into the other long drinks. I know we say we this will, every we show, will. but we have to. I just like the blue ones. I think we're just, the blues are so good, we can't They're, get away from it. Exactly. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but if you're on YouTube, you can check us out that we do have the Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel Edition Bud Lights. So, Paul, they're the Fall Flannel Edition, so I wore a flannel for the show today. Oh, wow. You're festive. It's. I mean, it's October. I was wearing flannels. A lot, but you're not, a big flannel guy. I am. I mean, I like it. It, it, it. It's slimming to like my figure. You know what I mean? Like, cause they're they're loose. Sure. I don't know what that means. But uh, speaking of fall festivities, I am. You can, well, if you're watching on YouTube, you can probably see that I have a mustache. Oh my god! I have a mustache now. I mean, you may not even if you zoom in, you might might not be able to see it. I have a hard time growing facial hair. I probably didn't hit puberty till about 23, 22. Maybe a couple, yeah. AKA late bloomer. But I am growing out my mustache and a little beard <laughs> for my Halloween costume. Oh, so it's part I'm of your costume. I'm the character. I'm pulling a Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm pulling a, a Jennifer Lawrence. I'm going the extra mile on what those great actors do. 
I gotta grow facial hair for my costume. Just more authentic to your costume. But I'm having a hard time. It's weird. It is weird. It's like when you did you see it? When did you start? It's been like two weeks, and this is all I got. I mean, it's, yeah. it's rough out there for the kids. That is uh, for sure. I'm gonna be post Malone. Okay. So I'll shout it out. I wasn't gonna tell everybody what I'm being, but I'm gonna be post Malone. I got the face tats. I got like a suit jacket. Okay. I got some gold pants. I'm gonna be fire, Paul, with okay. a little mustache. Okay. So here's the thing. Producer Drew, I'll give you the photo. I was Post Malone like three years ago. Wait, Wait really? really? So what we'll do is when he does it, <laughs> we'll, we'll get his photo from Halloween. This will go out next week or two weeks from now or whatever when Halloween passes. We'll do the photos. We'll probably put this on Instagram and we'll do a poll. <laughs> Who did it better? Post Malone edition. I didn't know you were Post Malone. Yeah. Well, we'll shout out right now. We're a little late. Like we didn't pre-plan. We got a lot of shit going on with the new set and new connections and so forth. Today should have been our Halloween show, I guess. Yeah, technically. But we're going to do ours next week. So we'll come in next week. We'll have candy. We'll do some Halloween segments. It'll come out November 1st, I think, is yeah. the date. So, I mean, what, Halloween's on the 30th or 31st? 31st, come so on, it's the day after Halloween. It's closer. So, uh, yeah. next week, definitely check out our Halloween episode. Give us a like. Subscribe on YouTube. We're at 922 subscribers. Yeah, we're doing good on YouTube. We've Close been Close to okay. So, we appreciate all the love, support. A lot of people comment that they love watching us, our journey, and they've watched us from the beginning, and they always knew that we were going to eventually blow up, and we're still on that trend. Life's but, a party, uh, man. Just join the train ride, have some fun, and uh, grab a beer. That's what Ryan's always saying. Grab a if beer. If you're drinking with us, uh, hopefully, you know, you're at your house and you're not in the car, uh, then... <laughs> Hey, grab a Why beer. Why always yeah. promoting drunk driving? <laughs> just, just grab a beer at your house, put us on the TV, and uh, enjoy the show. So, uh, Before we get into the Bud Light Seltzer flannel fall edition, I saw you were pumpkin picking or apple I did. picking last week. I put a, I went pump, well, both. You well, did you tagged picking. me. You are like, I'm going pumpkin picking. And I was like, that sucks because that activity is not fun. So <laughs> what's so funny is my girlfriend, Renee, we, she wanted to go like apple picking or pumpkin picking. There's a farm by her house that she used to go to as a kid. Yeah. And she hasn't been there in a really long time. So she was like, I would love to do this. So I said, okay, cool. And I remember being like, oh, like I really want to go pumpkin picking. And she goes, that's not what you said on the show. Like, that's not what you said on the show. I was like, that's what Ryan oh, said. Paul's in trouble. I was like, Ryan said it was boring. I didn't say well, anything. we're associated, so. That's stupid. I am not... <laughs> Uh, responsible for everything well, that comes out of Was it how I explained it? You get out the thing and just pick the pumpkin up? I mean, yeah, but it's fun. You pick your... They you should know. make the people cut the vine. I agree. That's cool. That would be something. That would be. That makes it feel like you're actually doing it. I watched a lot of football this weekend. So my girlfriend in attendance tonight, we have a... We're going to a brewery Saturday and then going apple and pumpkin picking on Sunday. So I'll be next, back... Next week? This weekend coming up. Okay. So I'll be back next week with the Halloween show. I'll give what happened. See if I have any fun at all. <laughs> I really like, I don't, I didn't like pumpkin picking. I did it a few years ago. I mean, this weekend, like the, it was weird. So he did said, you each get one? Did you carve it? No, we just, we have it for our apartment now. Um, we're nice. going to, I'll, I'll probably carve mine because I do want to carve it. Um, but I really liked apple picking. Like, it was super fun. Well, they have, I saw they have, like, the list of the different, they what have, is that, the different apples? So, yeah, it was, like, the list of all the apples, and basically they were, like, per couple rows, and you could kind of go and pick your apples, and it was just, like, fun. It was nice. He, the, our guy, our tractor guy, kind of tractor taught us. Guy. He, like, taught us a little bit about the apples, um, how he grows them. While he's, dr oh, no, he gets out. Well, he gets out, he talks to us a little bit, and just, like, how to pick them properly, so you're not killing um, to pick them properly, just grab that bitch. No, no, thing. no, no, no. See, that's the thing. That's what happens. You got dumbasses like Ryan over here who do got, that. Do a, a correct twist well, of no. the uh, kids show you, of the apple. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make sure they're good because if not, if you're pulling like the branch the wrong way, or you're maybe taking, you're taking the apple with a full branch, you're actually killing the apple that's supposed to grow for next year, what? and you're killing his seeds. Like you're killing oh, shit. his farm. He and gets you're hurting mad? him. Yeah. Oh shit. So he was like. You know, as long as he could teach people a little bit how to properly pick it, you're not killing the plant, which is You think nice. I'll be able to just chop one of the trees down and just take the whole tree? No. <laughs> Imagine not. me just getting back in the hayride with a full tree. <laughs> I mean, just take a couple seeds, plant your own apple tree for next I year. I thought there were only three apples. Red, what Granny Smith, and the yellow, yellow. one. <laughs> I thought there was only three. That's what I said to my girlfriend, too. I was like, what the hell? I was like, <laughs> There's I was like, like 82 apples on that list. I was like, dude. I was like, what? Like, it, it's like apples are joining the, the thing. They're like Oreos. There's like 15 of them. <laughs> like, they're each each season, they're coming out with a new flavor of apple. What, what the is hell your is favorite this? Oreo? Favorite Oreo? I like the golden Oreos. The gold, the, the vanilla? Yeah. Oh, they're hard. They're, no, they're surprisingly good. No, people no. people rag on them. I'm telling you. But I like I, the original. People love, they're obsessed with the thin. I like, the, oh, thin, stupid. 
you prefer the cream? The thins, like, people think they're on a diet. They're like, oh, look, I'm eating an Oreo. Well, that's the people who don't like thin. the cream. I don't really like the cream. I told the story the one time. I think I told on the show how I get Oreos. I had Oreos. I brought, my mom gave me Oreos for lunchtime in high school, and I opened the Oreos, and I licked the cream out, and I put the two Oreos together, and then I gave it to my friend, and he ate all of them, not realizing there was no cream in the middle. So you just <laughs> eat the cream? Well, I did it as a joke because I'm, oh, okay. I'm an asshole. Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, not yeah. But yeah, Oreo. Well, yeah. I so actually I really like the gluten free Oreos. Gluten free. <laughs> so there's a white package. What? If you go, if you go to the supermarket, there's a white packaging Oreos. It's a gluten free. I'm telling you, phenomenal. I so like much better. the gluten free Oreos. You know what's so bad though? The most stuffed. Have you ever had the most stuffed Oreos? Uh, the mo- uh, what is it? What are you? I don't even know. The most. That is. So so it's ridiculous. So there's how double much. stuffed, and then there's most stuffed. No, there's Just double think of it, stuffed. It's like double stuffed. With Double. a triple stuff. Yeah, so so the idea is that Oreo that has, like, that. different layers of everything, and, it like, the most stuff is their biggest, but I'm pretty sure it's two double stuff, or two, two something. It's, like, something. It's, fucking it's literally ridiculous. crazy. I get a lot of shit because how I prefer to eat my Oreos is I get a glass of milk, and I soak the Oreo where it's, People like, almost that. falling off and mushy. People, that's and how I, I like them. That's how I eat it. My girlfriend thinks I'm nuts. There's a, there's a trick with that. Put a little bit of the dry right above where the milk is, and it rushes in. You'll get it. You'll get it super soggy in like less than thirty seconds. <laughs> Dude, my, Oreo expert over here. <laughs> my brother, last thing on Oreos, is a crackhead, <laughs> and he calls this thing. Well, he's not. <laughs> he's okay. actually not a crackhead. Kyle. Kyle did not cry. That's an inside joke. Uh, but he calls this thing called Oreo soup, and he gets a bowl of milk. And he gets like 10, 12 Oreos and puts it in the, in the, in the bowl and he gets a spoon and eats the Oreos. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> he goes, it's Oreo soup. I'm like, what? Get the, that's a diabetes soup. That's what that is. Good. Well, I never had cookies and, or like cookies and cream milkshakes. Oh, up, they fuck. Up until like four years ago. And I, like I was best. missing out. It was the best, the best thing in the world. Dude, you just started drinking milk. like from Five Guys and what like Chick Fil A makes them. Chick Fil A makes the cookies and I had them Burger from King, Shake Shack, Burger King. Burger King got Burger King is slept on. They have like the better milkshakes. They have good milkshakes. Yeah, I like. I used to like McDonald's. Like if I go, hey, I need a milkshake. McDonald's used to have good ones, and they changed it. They changed the formula. Yeah, they changed the the secret formula. All right, let's get into the uh, Bud Light Seltzer Fall Flannel. I don't think I'm gonna like any of these. So, uh, Paul, what's the first one you got? I'll try to find it. Uh, I let's try the toasted marshmallow. So first. you want to? You think this is going to be one of the better ones? I think this might be, or it's going to be the best one or the worst one. So there's like no in between. So we got the toasted marshmallow here. Let me just take these. Bud out. Light. I you can't know what's, you know what's funny? It. Actually, I realized. So Bud Light announced that they are bringing back their uh, tie dye retro. Ones tie dye retro like cans like seltzers. Remember those seltzers that we did them. We did a taste test and we like hated the Fourth of July ones. Yeah. right? they're horrible. We, like, I, they're still in my fridge because I don't drink them. Well, they're and bringing if they're them back. alcohol in my fridge for over, over a couple months, you know they suck. Because if I'm not drinking them, you, you, Paul's already sniffing it. Toasted marshmallow here. How's it smell? <laughs> that's, that's the, the wasp. All right, I'm going right in. Mm. That's strong. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> got a second set. It, it's it. It has a strong flavor. I don't know how to describe this. It's very, but it's, it doesn't um, taste like a marshmallow. No, it, it's, it's it has like, a strong flavor, but I don't know what it is. It's almost like coffee. Yes, it's like coffee. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's what it is. Jesus, it li- yes, <laughs> uh, dude. So eventually, it's like coffee. We have a taste test in lab. We have another section. Where it's like almost like another studio where we're gonna be doing taste testing of alcoholic drinks yeah. and give them a rating. So it's almost done. Uh, but we figured since this is fall festival, we'll get this in on the show. You're spot on. Why does this taste like iced coffee? I don't know, man. It just does. I think, yeah, iced coffee. That's probably. That probably... would be a cruel trick to it, swap it that tastes... out with someone's iced coffee in the morning. I'm telling you, this alcoholic, tastes exactly man. like. I'm gonna go 5 3. On the toasted marshmallow Bud Light seltzer. I don't like coffee, so but it wasn't bad. Like it wasn't bad though. I just don't like that taste. But I don't think it's a bad flavor. I think uh, yeah, five one, five one and five three on toasted like, marshmallow. Like like average good if you like the flavor. If not, don't worry about it. I'm gonna good. be honest. I'm disappointed in that one. I thought that was gonna be good one. All right, next one. Can we get the next one out of the way? I'm really nervous. Apple about crisp, it. pumpkin spice out of the way. No, that's the last one. Oh, I'm scared. People, for that. yeah, that's the thing. We got apple crisp, which we'll do next. 
maple pear and pumpkin spice. I think pumpkin spice is what people want to know, so we're gonna leave it to the end. Uh, can I just say great packaging? The packaging is really true. dope. Packaging's uh, good. They Bud Light really does kill the packaging game. Uh, the other seltzers they have and the other uh, festive cases they have are very good packaging. Cans are nice. The flannel edition, really nice cans. Like a lumberjack. Like if you were a lumberjack, you would like this. You'd All right, let's give uh, Apple Crisp. This might be the best one. Ooh. So here's the thing with this. Mm. Remember when last year <laughs> Bud Light we didn't do we didn't do this taste test because I think it was kind of before we started doing this, but they had the Christmas edition. Yes. Well, apple spice or apple crisp was part of that. Packaging. We did that. We did that. We did those. We you sure? Yes. I just remember doing them like with my girlfriend because we couldn't find them anywhere. Apple crisp, too much ginger. There's like too much. I don't know if it's cinnamon or ginger. Let me know which one you think it is. Is it cinnamon or ginger? There's like too much of it. Ginger. There's too much ginger. It's a little okay. less on the ginger. It's good, but then there's too much ginger over over overpiling the flavor. Okay. What do you give it? Is this better or worse than a toasted marshmallow? I think it's worse. I, it's pretty damn close. I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna go five two. Four what nine. I go on the last one. Five three, five two, it's a little worse. You said four one? No, four nine, apple crisp. Four nine. I mean, these aren't getting great. No. reviews maple pear this one's gonna be the worst i don't even know what what even is a maple pear it's like a pear <laughs> i like the green i'm not gonna lie i like the green packaging but i have a gut feeling this will be the worst maple pear i like you like maple syrup you don't like it i'm like smelling it <clears throat> oh my god i'm gonna throw up that's fucking horrible Oh, there's maple. Yeah, I could definitely taste some maple <laughs> with the syrup. Get Ryan a bucket on the show. Oh, yeah, there's maple can. on this one. <laughs> oh, I, there's maple. Yeah, maple on her. <laughs> I mean, I'm a big fan. Yeah, I like. You're a big fan. Not That's, of these, but I'm saying I like the maple taste. It feels like you got an oh. Aunt Jemima and just squirted it Her, in your mouth. That's fucking awesome. That's fine what? with me, man. Aunt Jemima can do whatever she wants. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know what that. I don't know what that means, Ma dude. I don't. I don't like it. I'm maple going there. Three two, that's generous on the maple. It literally just tastes like someone scored Aunt Jemima in there. Uh, a five nine. Wow. So the highest so far, but still failing grade. But still failing highest so far though. That one messing my stomach up, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> so let's get another one. Last one we got. This pump one, pump I am very scared of the pumpkin spice. There's a few things. There's not many things I won't drink that are alcoholic. The one thing is a pickleback. I get very nervous that one time I'm going to be too smacked up at a bar and one of my buddies is going to order a pickleback shot. I will never take one. And I'm going to be too smacked up to realize that it's pickleback and take it. That's one of my biggest fears in life. If Chick-fil-A sandwich comes with pickles and I have to take the pickle off, I will not eat the sandwich. We've been through this. <laughs> yes, we pickles have. Pickles and pumpkin, <sighs> anything pumpkin, well, I hate. That's the way I was when I was, I hate pickles. We, I mean, we've talked. We, we, we don't <laughs> like pickles. Pickle bros, not, not us. Pickle and, bros. <laughs> and, and I actually saw bros. that they, uh, I saw on TikTok someone deep frying pickles. Ew. You know what's great? Deep fried Oreos. Never had one. Oh, I've please do it. I just haven't had the time. One of the best type of Oreos because those things are mad soft. But pickles, not a fan of. And pumpkin's up there where pumpkin. I, don't like it. I think I don't think I'm a huge fan of pumpkin. But the thing is, like pumpkin spice, I think the pumpkin spice lattes for the women, right? Right. The pumpkin spice Bud Light seltzer, maybe for the men. I, I don't. Smell it from here. <laughs> Get behind the mic if he's good. producer Drew's off the rails. Uh, you don't like the smell? I know I like the smell actually. Surprisingly. Um, I'm nervous. It smells like a candle. Pinky up, baby. That's Paul's pinky up. Oh. <laughs> Mixed emotions from Polly. Um, what's that? The, that I'm gonna be that, honest. This does not taste like what that, I thought. That spice in the pumpkin spice, it's good. This tastes it's like, like cinnamon. This tastes like um uh, a Yankee candle. That's what it tastes like. That's a perfect example of that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just spill it on me. I'm gonna smell it. It's got a great smell, great scent. Yeah. Now for our next segment, we're going to mix them all together. Oh, man. This is shocking. This might be my favorite. I think this is the best one. Yeah, for sure. I don't know. I, I don't, might be just don't realize what pumpkin tastes like. Do I not know? What? what? <laughs> like, what a pumpkin? Like, if I were to take a bite of a pumpkin. Yeah. Is that the pumpkin flavor? You know I what I'm saying? Like so, yeah. Do you think it is? Yeah. Like, they make what this pumpkin based you... off if I were to bite a pumpkin. 
Yeah, there's like pump, that's, <laughs> that's pumpkin <laughs> flavoring. Yeah, if you eat an apple, yeah, they're they're taking the flavoring from an apple. So my main guys were just gonna take a bite out of a fucking pumpkin. <laughs> I mean, it's what do you usually eat that's pumpkin? Do you eat anything that has pumpkin? A pumpkin? Uh, pumpkin seeds I've had. Okay, why? I don't know. I haven't had them in a while, but I've had this. Okay. Um, it tastes like you're gonna eat like took a bite of a candle, a Yankee candle. I could drink this on Thanksgiving. Like half. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Five six. We're living in the fives. I don't even think I left the five range. Seven one. Seven this one. This is gonna go as a high score. As a seven, high score. I would say it's C. C minus C. All right. Well, we can get into the show. I'm actually very mad because I chugged a long drink thinking that maybe I'd like one of these to sip on for the show. Okay. Didn't happen. <laughs> you did that last <laughs> last week too. Yeah. I did that last week, so I'm uh, going. Drinkless for the rest of the show. All right, let's get into the show. Well, this has been the show. That was the first segment. <laughs> He's already drunk it's here, like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> something it's... about that toast and marshmallow. Uh, going to be a good episode. Chugging yeah. Aunt Jemima. I'm biting pumpkins. I'm drinking uh, Yankee Candle. Like, I don't know what's going on. So overall here. recommendation, we don't recommend you buy this case. No. I actually recommend someone taking this off my hands because I'm not going to drink it. Yeah, it's a no for life's a party. That's enough for this party. Okay, here we go. So, we are going to start the show. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'll start the show. Well, we're not starting the show. <laughs> no. Second we're going to continue the show. And this segment is called Have You Ever? So, we're going to go down the list together and respond yes to no to these Have You Ever? questions. The first one, Paul, have you ever been on the radio or television? Many times, yes. Many times. Yeah. Both. Both. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Radio? Well, well, we were lucky enough in high school. Yes. Producer Drew came. This is where his roots are from. Well, yeah. We all went to the same high school. Just Were we at the same high school at the same time? No. Um, but we have a high school TV station called Sterling TV 19. And lucky enough, we were on TV for like plays or sporting events, or we had like a Mr. Sterling show. So we were lucky enough to be on that TV. It's a local channel. That's a local channel. But yeah, we did that stuff for our high school. Also, that- with our high school, we had a radio station. Yes. That was broadcasting. So we, that's, I mean, that's kind of where we started too. We, we would talk and we would host um, some show. At, for, you know, for that, that was like one of my favorite. Well, we would classes. have like a fall festival, and we would yeah. all, all go outside, and we would get partnered with someone. We'd have an hour of our own content. So, if you want to make a game up in that hour, you make your own playlist of music, and it was your one hour to be the radio host. Yeah. But it was funny because in high school, a lot of schools like we took that for granted that we had a TV station. Yeah, a lot like of us having have our sporting events or plays on TV was something that was like or we thought it was normal. Yeah, just but like, people like. Other teams or other high schools would love to come play us because they had an opportunity to be on TV. Yeah, we ended up having, like, we ended up making a mobile setup. We would actually take a camera and a yeah. laptop and go and film somewhere else. And yeah, so that. cool thing to be for granted. One thing that my family does that really grinds my gears about um, just my family in general. Uh, so I will go to, like, a big sporting event. So say it's, like, the Phillies World Series or, like, a Yankees playoff game yeah. or a Giants game. And I'll get, I'll always get a text from my family members, my aunt or uncle, and they'll be like, yo, are you wearing blank, blank, blank? Just saw you on TV. They had you there. You were yeah. screaming and clapping. I was like, and I, my dumbass, I believe them every time. My dad, so a thing was like, my dad used to go to like a Flyers playoff game. Right. And he always be like, yo, check us out. Like, we're, we're going to try to get on TV. Like, we're wearing orange. <laughs> and I'm like, shut <laughs> up. Like, you know what I mean? Dude, but, and I was, I'll be like sitting in the rafter. I'm literally like the third yeah, row up from no the top. Way. And I'm like, oh my God, they saw me. Like, how do they yeah. know I'm wearing? Not realizing like I posted a picture or like a Snapchat of my outfit. And they're like, yo, you were just on TV. I was like, yo, I was on. Like, and I, was, I, get, I get got all the time. Get got. I'm a gullible guy. What can I say? So something cool is that working with the devils. Like, big games that we play, so, like, with the Rangers or stuff like that, like, when they're playing, um, I forget what the network is, but when they're playing the Rangers. Yes, no? Oh, no, they're not. On MSG? Yes, no. Like, I think oh, it's MSG. MSG. Yeah, they have their own so, when they're playing, it, yeah, on those networks and stuff, it's cool because I've had friends that are home that, like, I'm doing my job, like, waving the flag or pumping up the crowd, and during some commercial breaks or some stuff, I'll get on TV, and I'll have a friend be like, yo, I just saw you, which is, like, pretty dope. Do you ever get to go on the ice? Yeah, I've been on the ice. I was actually. Were you on getting the ice. like ice skating lessons? I was for a while. Yeah. Was that to be a possible mascot for? A... That was when I was looking at possible mascotting jobs at the end. Is that a NHL. criteria of like a mascot for an NHL team is to know how to ice skate? It's not, but it would be like it would be a plus, right? Like it would it would be a really thing you would put on your like resume. Mascots skating. A lot of them do. Um, you're just not going to see it on television. True. Like those NHL yeah. mascots, they're going to do like 
uh, during the intermissions or like NJ, for example. So with the New Jersey Devils, after the game, if they win, he'll skate on the ice with like a flag and they'll do a big celebration kind of thing. That's what NBA starts tonight. And one thing that I like that NBA has is they have NBA League Pass where there's no commercials. So That's if you nice. watch NBA League Pass and you're watching the Brooklyn Nets, you can like see their you entertainment. You see the halftime and you see the jumbo trying like at work when I work at a sports book. We get M- NBA League Pass, and we see all these other teams and all the different skits they have during that's intermission, dope. the kiss cam. You see all of it. So I think that's a cool aspect that they have with the NBA League Pass. I don't know if they had that for something for NHL, but it's something to enjoy. It's, it's, a, it's a whole event. Yeah. It's not just the game. It's the stuff that also goes in between the game that's fun to watch, like the kiss cams. and oh, The one thing, I, I sent you the Gritty and the Seattle Kraken. Yeah, that was, I mean, that's... <laughs> Once again, gullible Ryan. Gullible guy. So, <laughs> Ryan, I actually saw this, but this was a TikTok video or Instagram or whatever. It was it was everywhere. And Gritty, we talk about him on the show where he's down here. And the Seattle Kraken, new NHL franchise. And they're doing like their, you know, most teams are playing them for the first time. So, the Devils played them last night, actually, when I was at the game. And we even did like a little thing on the Kraken. They did a fun thing on the Jumbotron where it said bandwagon fans uh, and they went to all the Kraken like fans that were wearing jerseys or hats and it was like <laughs> lifelong Kraken fan or 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 uh it's, it's like never been to Seattle but like <laughs> like all this stuff and it was really fun and the Flyers did something the other night which was really fun too where Gritty came out and they unveiled the Se- <laughs> the Seattle mascot yeah. the new mascot the Kraken <clears throat> Because they haven't unveiled him yet. And they pulled off like a sheet and they called him Cuddles the Kraken. <laughs> and it was just like some guy in a, like a squid or octopus. A horrible outfit. costume. Yeah. And he was just. And you, you know, could see his face too. Yeah. It wasn't. No, and I said to Paul, I was like, yo, tell me this isn't the actual Seattle Kraken costume. And I, he was like, no, it's obviously not the actual Kraken. <laughs> well, I didn't know because Gritty's a big deal. So I didn't know if they wanted to uh, yeah. uh, reveal, reveal the Kraken with Gritty, the number one mascot in the NHL. It was just a little play that Gritty did, um, you know, as a joke to the Kraken. Then he pied the mascot in the face and, you know, just like made fun funny. of him. I'm like, there's no way they didn't <laughs> unveil their mascot to be then made fun of. <laughs> like, that's just not how it's going to work. Well, if you enjoy mascot talk, we do have an episode way back. You can go back and check it out. I think we did uh, top mascots you liked and then we did top mascot bits. I think yeah, we did, we did best bits, top five. Um, like I, I wanted to do. Oh yeah, I did top five mascots, and I picked one from like each league. So oh, yeah, I did yeah. like a college one, NHL, like NFL. So check it out like on that. YouTube. I think I don't remember what the episode is, but we do have a thumbnail, and I bet there's a mascot on. Yeah, there. there's mascots in that thumbnail. So definitely so. check out the thumbnail. Check out that episode. Next one, Paul. Have you ever broken something like a window and ran away? I probably have, but like the most recent. Uh, episode that I had where I was involved in this was where I got the most secondhand embarrassment. Ever. You're just cracking your long drink. Well, I was drink. I was drinking my Bud Light seltzers, my guy. <laughs> You're not gonna sip on any of them for the long rest. Long drink. Maybe I'll, I'll touch one. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. uh, but this wasn't an, an episode where. Well, not an episode. It was a, a event where I got the most worst secondhand embarrassment ever. So we were on a par three in a local golf course. Par three. So you got three hits to get it on the green. Most par threes are pretty close. Yeah. The houses are around the golf course, but not where you should hit them. My buddy goes up. (laughs) My buddy goes up, hits the ball, and it literally shanks, shatters the window. It's it's like 930 in the morning. All you hear is like literally shattered the window. So we don't know what to do. So we're like, all right, let's just keep playing because we can't really run because if we run, people will know it's us. You're, yeah, you're mad. And us. with golf courses, I don't know what the liability is. Do they sign a waiver because they live on a golf course? I don't know the ins and outs. So we start, we just go up to the green just like casually act like nothing happened. The whole family comes outside back. <laughs> whole, we're talking like two daughters, a dad and a wife. And they're on the phone, like, looking around, like, who just shattered our window? It's 9.30 in the morning. And this this family was probably having a nice bowl of cereal or breakfast, and a golf ball went through the window and woke them up. And they didn't know it was us, so hopefully they don't watch this episode. There you go. And uh, it was it was the most secondhand embarrassment I've ever gotten. I've never been in a situation where a window shattered that bad. And it was, it was the most so ugh. With was, golf courses in particular, it is crazy that if you do golf – um, you can always like look at houses that are close and yeah. most of them are just massively dented on the side. <laughs> like there's just so many, you're like, Oh, you know what I mean? But well, in that case, I've always been scared to sh- like a shadow or uh shank. to shatter a window. Yeah. And I've never, I think I've maybe hit a house like once or twice. Well, you always hit it and you're like cringing and waiting to hear the shatter. And then you don't, you're like, Oh, thank or, God. Yeah. Or, you know, that you shank the ball real right. <laughs> there are houses in the vicinity and everyone just goes, 
<laughs> and listens. And you're yeah, that's you know what, what we I mean? did. But this was the first time ever I heard. Did I you was see? Like, oh my god! No, I don't. Not in. I saw the window after we got up to the green shatter. That's like I couldn't imagine just being in my house. Yeah, though, you know breakfast. what I mean. But that is that it does come with living on a golf course. Like I, you yeah. should expect that your house will probably be hit. They probably get some sort of discount. Well, it's probably some insurance thing. Like right. you sign with the course. Like I love the. the I love I, I love the one bit where the guy, some guy hit a golf ball in the guy's backyard. I think we talked about it on the show. And the guy put the golf yes. ball like next to him and laid down acting like he got hit. And the golfer was like, oh my God, I just hit you. And the old guy gets up. He's like, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah. <laughs> he sits there. He sits there in his backyard like on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> and he waits for people to like hit balls. And he'll just act like he's <laughs> like sitting there. But his daughter will take videos of him. And yeah. it is really funny because people will go up to the ball. And try to hit see, it. Yeah, we'll see it. And then they'll see the guy and then just walk away. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> it's a hit and run right there. Yeah, that is a hit and run. <laughs> All right, next one. Paul, have you ever gone skydiving, bungee jumping, or parasailing? I've done two out of these. I have not done bungee jumping. I'm waiting until, one, I have to go to a place that has bungee jumping. I, we're not in the best area for it. You can't really find, like, great spots for it. Just do it off your roof. I mean, yeah, you could. <laughs> Paul's you just could. hanging by his gutter. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm waiting to go to a nice spot to do bungee jumping. I, the Grand Canyon. I saw, I think I told you this, but I love Dude, like, I love Dude Perfect. And they do a series called Bucket List. And they go to different places and they do like their bucket list items. They went to Africa in the summer and they did the world's longest bungee jump or like or a highest bungee jump. Yeah. And it was just the coolest thing in the world. Like they that each is did something. It? Uh only so like each of them get like a few things they do. Like you don't everyone doesn't have to do everything. Right. Um, I think three of them did it out of the five. But it's just like so cool. And I'm like, that's insane dude i would like the bungee jump there's that one funny video of bungee jumping where they fake the guy like oh wait wait wait, wait. like he jumps backwards like wait 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 and he's like oh he's going down my heart would drop for that what's what's cool about that video because that video he did a follow-up yeah he? so that video is old there was a guy who was bungee jumping and he's like his he he like did a whole thing where he was joking and, and he turned around so he jumped like backwards and his buddy said they decided to play it like a prank on him. And they're like, he's like, three, two, and on one, all like five guys are like, whoa, 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 whoa. And they throw and like they throw like wires over the or yeah, they throw over the wires the as if it was like snapped. And he's like in the air, you could see on his face, like freaking out. And the video went super viral, whatever. Then the guy, that was like 20 years ago. That, that video is yeah, like 20 years old. old. He like came up, he's like, actually, that's me. And he's like, I'll tell the story. Yeah. And it was him and his daughter. And they told the story. And he's like, dude, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> and he goes, it was because I was like fucking with him like during the day. And I was joking. I wasn't taking shit serious. And they, they decided to screw with me. And he goes, I see that video all the time. It just will never leave my life. That's probably one of the most fucked up things you could do to a friend. To fake, yeah, to, to act like you're going to die. <laughs> to give them that fear. But that is, like, funny, though. And I feel like that's something our friends would do where <laughs> it's like, okay, if you're clearly screwing around and not paying attention, like, let's, like, I can only him. imagine what he feels like falling down at that <laughs> moment. Uh, I've done parasailing, never bungee jump, never. Parasailing is by far one of the most overrated. I don't even know if it's an extreme sport. Uh, it's the most overrated thing ever. You get up there and it's so boring. <laughs> it's like, like, like is you're boring. just up there. The best part is that you come down and just crash into the water. Uh, one thing that's not on this list that I did that I want to highly not recommend is paddleboarding. That shit is the hardest sport hobby thing I've ever done in my entire life. I've done it, and you, the the gla uh, the water has to be glass. Like it has to be very. Yeah low and no waves at all like very early in the morning type shit because if you're anywhere where there's like even a little bit of waves it is hard to balance well that was the problem i went out with my cousins we were on vacation and we run into the paddle board and you get like 45 minutes to an hour it took you took half an hour trying to get up so we go <laughs> start going out there we're paddling out my cousin falls over and then the waves are crashing yeah. so then i fall over and then what make me fall over my brother falls over and, we're and all those waves are even <laughs> making like, it worse they're like yeah. look at the horizon i'm like <laughs> i'm like struggling we ran it out for 45 minutes to an hour we were back in 10 minutes yeah he's like you're back so soon i was like yeah that shit's hard as fuck <laughs> i can't do that i've done it twice on the uh, by lake george i did it again this summer and it's hard it's not something i would like so love to do look but at it, the horizon nice. i'm like <laughs> i'm like what the fuck but skydiving i i've done 
Twice? I've done twice. I want to go back. I want to get a group of friends to go. I've been saying this for like two friggin' years. I'm trying to get my license. I was going to do it this summer, but I had some circumstances where like I just couldn't. So I'm, I have the money for it. I'm going to try to do it this summer. And I want to do like a series of videos on the show, on the channel. And do like a bucket list. Obviously, we ain't do perfect. We ain't got that money to do. We, we ain't, we're not going to Africa. No. But to do like skydiving and stuff, I think would be fun. Bring producer Drew along. Video. Throw, throw him out the plane. Yeah. We'll, I'll film it. Yeah. No, you're you're out the plane. So like that kind of stuff. I <laughs> I'll think, film it. No, I, I'm going to film it. I'm well, going to go down with you. Okay. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Let's, let's get... Can you tie three people at once and go? All three of us, just like <laughs> together. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. You know. There you go. Uh, well, I'll have to. I'll have to think about that one. Let's just not, let's not put that sentence. <laughs> let's put that on the maybe. Let's put that on videos. the maybe list. Okay. Uh, next one. Have you ever gotten lost in an amusement park or uh, like on vacation? I probably have, but when I was a kid, I always got lost in the mall. I feel like. The mall is like the number one place to get lost. I, you know what's especially crazy? when you can't see over the racks. Is how, <laughs> yeah. Well, how bad? Uh, growing up, I thought those like kid leashes yeah. were, were the worst thing in the world. I'm like, that is so disrespectful. Like you treat your kid like that. And as I get older, I'm like, that's a smart parent. I agree. I had the same mindset. I was like, why are these parents have leashes? Like this is so, like, oh come on, man, let your kid like go around. But I've seen how crazy people are. And how, you know, kids are just wild. And it's like, I want my kid to be safe. And if he's on a leash and he's attached to my arm, I know he's going to be safe. And he can be free a little bit. Where, like, if you just let him go in the mall or maybe you're at, like, Chuck E. Cheese and you go, like, people are whack out there and people are, you know, stealing kids. So. People like Ryan go growl <laughs> yeah, at kids. On growl. Yeah, they growl, yeah. <laughs> Why does it have to be brought up? I thought we were going to leave that I in the past. I forgot that he did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> just growling at little kids. Come on, man. Leave him Dude. alone. Leaving that in the past. Uh, my girlfriend's going to hate me for bringing this up, but when we go to New York, she's like the worst person to walk with in New York City because like I'm always like worried about like, oh, because it's, it's always crowded it's crazy, yeah. and then the lights are crazy and there's taxi drivers. Like, I don't want her to get hit or whatever, but she's literally the worst to walk around New York with because she refuses to step on cracks or like those, um, what are those things called? The sewer, like the, like the sewer, the sewer circle or the uh, sewer circle. She won't step on them. So, so imagine walking in New York City, one of the fastest paced cities in the world, where there's cracks and sewer things and homeless people, and <laughs> she won't step on a crack or a sewer thing. Yeah. I'm like, come on, dude. Your, your amount of space is very limited. I'm going to have to get one of those leashes. Kid show. <laughs> Kid show. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like maybe different type of Kid leash, show. you know? No, the sex toy bingo was the last episode. <laughs> Wait, what date was that? <laughs> they're, do, they're, do, they're doing something like that yeah. at Rowan. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Drew, Drew went home and looked it up. Does like, Rowan have sex with the <laughs> No, my, my, English, comp teacher, Rowan my English comp teacher put up a PowerPoint. She's just like, look at all these events. And I go through, and she's like, does any of them pique your interest? <laughs> and I look at this one. It's like, it's Candy, Condoms, and Kahoot. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I like that name. Candy, Yo, Condoms, and Kahoot. Go. I'll put I'll put a picture up here. I got a screenshot of it. That's it's a good life's a party spot. They go do like a lot of interviews with people. Yeah. That's funny. Candy condoms and Kahoot. Drew's going home and have you ever, going sex toy bingo. To have you played to Kahoot? Because Kahoot's like fairly new. Uh, I played it. What, how's it go again? But people in college, they play Kahoot all the time. How's it, how do you play it again? It's like a trivia game, but you can put it on the TV and you just oh, you yeah. go on your phone and you can like type the code and you play. Yeah, teachers just do that all fun. the time. Yeah. Do you have anything to say about it? Just well, me. just candies, condoms, <laughs> and Kahoot. Um, next one. Where are we at here? Have you ever, Paul, had a near-death experience? <clears throat> I most of my near-death experiences, I feel like, are driving. I, I everyone's have had a near-death experience. I mean, they're <clears throat> just like driving. Like I, I, I mean, I've yeah, been you're on the not road. the best driver, to be honest. What are you talking you're about? You're probably one of the worst. I am actually a <laughs> phenomenal driver. I don't, I don't agree with that. When's the last time you drove with me? That's a good... Well, I feel like you're always doing, like, extra shit. Like, you've always got a lot of shit going on. Like, I feel like you're always <laughs> eating burger... Ca or, like, eating food. Like, you're always eating french fries while you're I love french fries, yeah. French and you're always, fries, like, popcorn. distracted. No, I'm not distracted. I'm just a moving man. I move. I do... I, I, I gotta move, you know, that, that kind of thing. So, as long as you're focused on the road, like, whatever. I think if you have most of your near-death experiences in a car, I don't think you can be a good, else? classified as a good driver. My, my life, <clears> I feel like, is pretty simple. I mean, the only pl like I'm not in. I don't put myself in very dangerous spots. Me neither. My near death experience came in my own home. <laughs> okay, doing what? <laughs> I was in middle school, and both my parents are teachers. 
So it's middle school. You get to the school a little later than your like your other teachers, like my high school teachers. Yeah, my my parents, and we get picked up at like eight thirty. I think it might have even been like a delayed opening we had, and um. So it's my sister and me go to middle school, and I'm in the bathroom taking a shit, like my morning shit. Classic, I'm taking yeah. a shit as a kid, right, guys? Taking a dump. Yeah. And as I'm taking a dump. Okay, I shouldn't have said it many times. But I was studying my vocabulary book because it was Friday. I had a vocab test. <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> and all of a sudden, outside my bathroom door in my house, I hear <clears throat> like a grown-ass man coughing. And I'm like, well, both my parents are at work. And then like this, I kept hearing the coughing <clears throat> outside the bathroom door, like literally right outside. So this guy is, saw him, is standing outside the door. I think he's waiting to kill me. Okay. So I start getting like anxiety. I start crying in the bathroom. I'm studying my vocab words on the toilet. I start crying, looking in the mirror, going, "Why am I studying my vocab words? I'm not gonna have to take a test because this guy's gonna stab me and kill me." Yeah. So why am I even studying the vocab? Why even wipe at that point? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. I was just gonna die anyway. So I, this guy's coughing, and, I'm, and I think he's coughing to get my attention to know that he's there ready to kill me. Okay. So I end up. Just like, you know what? Fuck it. I run out my bathroom door. I I don't even pick my pants up. My pants are half down. I run out. I'm on my front lawn screaming to my sister. She's upstairs straightening her hair. I'm like, get out. Get out. Someone's in the house. Get out of the house. I have my pants are half down on the front lawn. Our ride comes to pick us up while they see me with my pants down on the front lawn. Turns out my fucking dad was home. Yeah. He was sick. (laughs) And he was coughing outside the bathroom door waiting to get in. I, I didn't know he was home. I thought it was some guy going to murder me, coughing, trying to get my attention, stabbing me in the neck, and in right guy. Well, I don't think the best thing to do is that if a grown man that you don't know is in your house, to have your pants down. I didn't, I, like I said, I stopped studying for my test. I ended up failing that vocab test. I was going to ask that. Okay, <laughs> good. So just not a good day and all around. It wasn't a good day. I thought I was going to die. So it was my dad didn't tell us he was homesick and he was just outside coughing. Okay. I thought I was going to die. So here's the thing. I don't know if that's a near-death experience. Because I think that is a near-death experience. No, because you weren't near death at In all. my mind, I was going to die. I was, my, it was, maybe he was going to kill me. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> so I th- actually, I just thought of one. Near-death experience on the golf course. Great. Oh, okay. With, with. Shawnee Brawny. Shawnee Brawny. He's going to so, be in a story coming up as well. I think sh- the lesson we're going to learn from these stories <laughs> is that he's just not a good golfer. Do uh, not golf or be on the golf course when Shawnee Brawny is there. I think I was on the green or walking on the green, and I Sean, I think, was about 125 yards out, maybe, something like that. Um, hit his golf shot. I'm, like, watching his golf shot, so I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> and cool. He, <laughs> okay, cool. he completely thinned his shot. So instead of the ball going up in the air like a normal, great golf shot, the thing is a line drive. Yeah. So the thing I see, I don't, I don't see it. Like I didn't, I, he hit it. I'm like looking up, 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 <laughs> not knowing that this thing is headed right towards my head. It's like 120, 120 yards out. Thing is going right towards my head. All of a sudden, I see the thing probably about a foot away from my face. Like it probably went like slow shoot, motion at that point. Shoot right past my face. I'm like. <laughs> Dude, if that hit me in the face, he said nothing. You know what I mean? Said no absolute, floor. No, no floor, no, no, no. no nothing. If that hit me in the face, golf day, over. Paul, ER room. <laughs> like, that teeth out. Like, that. that's what it would have been. I want to know what the statistics are of how many people die by a golf ball. I'm, well, I think it would be pretty high. I think it's, if you get hit, I don't know if death. I think you really by a golf ball? You really got hit, like, in the temple. You know what I mean? But if you're hit, like, on your body or your head or, like, I mean, maybe you get, like, a massive blood clot from, like, a ball hitting you super hard. There's got to be some death. Because I couldn't imagine getting hit by a golf I always, ball. I'm always embarrassed to yell four on the golf course. Yeah, but... But yeah. I've learned <laughs> as I got older that a lot of people yell four, and it protects a lot of people, and at least saves your butt. Usually, I won't yell four, and I'll get over there, and if they say something, I'll be like, I yelled four. You didn't hear me? Yeah. <laughs> that's all thing. We're like, you didn't even say four. It's like, no, I didn't. Because, like, yelling four just shows that it was a shitty shot. Yeah, it's but, like embarrassing. Yeah, but <laughs> you gotta understand though, if you send someone to the ER room, you're not gonna feel bad because you were too shy to say four. Uh, when I do yell four, it's like really too late. <laughs> it's like the ball has landed and hit the guy already. Uh, next one. Oh, it's mine. Have you ever put someone's hand in warm water, Paul, while they're sleeping to make them pee? Um, I've never done like the warm water trick, but I mean, as I mean, what you're probably gonna get at is. 
<laughs> when we were younger, we did sleepovers. And I'm telling you, the big, everyone just loved messing with whoever went to sleep first. And Paul was always the first one. I, I'm tired. I'm a tired guy. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, to this day, I will fall asleep anywhere. And I go to bed. I mean, I go to bed at like 2 o'clock. But, you know, I if you put me in like – this was the problem with my history teacher. We've, we've talked about it. Where if you put me in a dark room – I'm falling asleep. <laughs> he said this is the problem with my history teacher. My history teacher used he to He turned put- the lights out. That's his fucking problem. <laughs> the history teacher That's turn- the problem with him. He turned the lights off. <laughs> he would turn on a movie. <laughs> what my- an asshole. What a He's fucking a douche. Awful guy. Um, <laughs> he would turn on the, the, like, the projector, the TV. And oh, like, God hey, forbid. He we're watching some documentary. Turn the lights off. I said, I'm sorry, but I'm going to bed. And he would just know. I, we did it in a, my Latin class. We used to have Latin class together. And yeah. that teacher was not the best and she, <laughs> she turned the lights off she would turn the lights off and she'd be like good night paul i'd be like good night like I, I don't know what you want not the best. keep keep the lights on uh that dude was funny as shit she would get so <laughs> mad for us to talk she would just go lock herself in her room and we'd be there for, for, for an hour just not learning anything this is this is if you have any teacher stories let us know because this is one of the craziest te- i'm gonna tell the story this is one of the craziest teacher stories we've ever had we were in high school we ryan and i used to take latin as our language because it would help our SATs. Obviously. Yeah, that was the whole idea, dude. It didn't help my score. <laughs> everyone, everyone in high school took Latin to help them on the SAT. No one knew. I have any no idea Latin. how it would help, but no, anyway, no, no one knew any Latin. It didn't help me. I had to do it twice. Exactly. Right. So, well, our Latin teacher, she just used to get upset. She did not handle students talking or like. Well, I think she had what people say a uh, bipolar disease. Okay. <laughs> she just well, now she, it's fucked up if we say this story. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, but no, I, I I don't know, but she just didn't handle students well, and there was <laughs> was really interesting about this classroom in particular was there was an office inside of the classroom. So imagine a classroom being four walls, and in the corner, in one of the corners, there was like an extra two walls that would have a little, little, yeah. little office but you could shut the door like you could close it off completely yeah she'd be a completely disconnected from the classroom so she, a few times where she would just get so frustrated with the class she would lock herself inside <laughs> of the room and just say all right i'm done teaching today we'd be like 10 minutes in the class and we have no teacher we don't know what to do we we knock on the door nothing like she's I, like you're on your own knock on the door she would not answer. she wouldn't even she would just go in there sometimes not even tell us what like she was going in there so i mean i and I feel bad. Like if the, <laughs> maybe the teacher had some problems going on in her life, but it was just wild. It, it was wild. Uh, I'm going to admit that I am. I admit two things. I'm a bitch. Yes, we know that. And I am, or maybe was, an asshole. Uh, so when people fall asleep at the sleepover and you all have that friend who would like mess with the person that falls asleep, I was the orchestrator most of the time. And okay. <laughs> like I would put like whipped cream on Paul's plate. <laughs> whipped cream's a classic. <laughs> whipped cream's a classic. The worst thing, dude, I'm telling you. I mean, because I've done some stuff back too. The worst thing that has ever happened to me while falling asleep is when people pour water on you. Yeah. Because it is a massive shock. Usually it's a temperature shock. I never had that. And uh, it's also just like you automatically wake up. Like you could be deep, deep asleep, and your body is shook awake, and you're just very disoriented, and it's. I mean, it's just one of the worst feelings in the world, and it used to happen all the time because it's like, oh, we don't have whipped cream. Like you always, as a kid, you always have access to water. Like there was always a water bottle somewhere, <laughs> yeah. or you'd go in the bathroom and you would like fill up a bowl. Like there was always water, and I remember that happened so many times where I have like a phobia, like of shit like that. <laughs> the, the one time it was recent, actually, we were over twenty one. We we're at Sea Isle, and oh. our buddy fell asleep in his parents' bedroom. And he was smacked up, and he was sleeping. At Shawnee Brawny, that's yeah. who it was. He Shawnee was sleeping Brawny. in his parents' bedroom, and I thought it would be a good idea to get chocolate syrup. <laughs> and I sprayed. Yes, I remember. I was yeah. I we, remember this. I, we, I sprayed chocolate syrup all over him and his face. But the problem was, is that it was all over him. And then once he felt it, he started rolling <laughs> he over. He started rolling around in the sheets. So his parents' bed. They they were mad, genuinely mad. They were mad me. because it was all over their sheets. <laughs> he they couldn't. Over. They couldn't get it out. Like it was like a whole problem. <laughs> he just washed the sheets. Chocolate syrup comes out. But it was funny because there's and then it was like almost like an on going joke where like whenever Shawnee Brownie got smacked up we would put chocolate syrup, syrup on, on his him. face well, we did it one we'll time we'll find a picture and put it up He'll, maybe if he lets us put a picture well, we up did it, it to him one time at a party where yeah. we <laughs> this was at a party <laughs> in high school where I don't know what time it was but Sean fell asleep at the party like on a couch <laughs> like just out he was completely out passed out on the couch and someone I don't know who it was I remember there because I remember having the photo on my phone or the video 
were so unfound like chocolate syrup. As you said, it became like this joke. And they filled his mouth with chocolate syrup as he's sleeping with his <laughs> yeah, mouth he's open. Got a mouthful of he's syrup. like, <laughs> like he's like gargling. He's it. like snoring and someone's <laughs> pouring chocolate syrup in his mouth. Thank God the man didn't choke. I mean, but he woke up just like and it's like it threw it up. And I remember was so mad, like got up, walked <laughs> home, like full face of chocolate syrup. <laughs> like, like completely wild. And that's the thing, like, you realize how people are assholes oh, and they assholes. just don't care. Like I wasn't involved for that one. I was involved. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't do it, but I remember watching it happen. Like very close. You were a spectator? Yeah. Um, uh, that's funny. All right, we got two more. Have you ever lied about your birthday, Paul, to get a free dessert? I haven't, but I I'm always with people. And here's the thing. Like I'm at the restaurant and I see somebody be like, happy, happy birthday. Yeah. And whoever I'm with, I'm like, I'm like, it's your birthday today. Right. And they're like, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's I'm what like, I was going to say. Most people don't like, even if it is their birthday, people don't like it. Cause Texas roadhouse, I don't think you've been there, but they get a full I, on saddle yeah. and the birthday person that I've done it. I Have sit you? on a saddle, not by choice, but they put yeah. me on a saddle and they do like happy birthday chant. And then they make you go like, yeehaw. So in front of the whole restaurant, my dumb ass is on the salad going, yeehaw, while people are eating steak and ribs. It's like, it's, I don't like it. One of the worst, it's, I mean, having people acknowledge your birthday in a large crowd is the one of the most awkward scenarios I think you can ever be in. And that idea, I mean, Texas Roadhouse, we brought my dad there yeah. for his like 40 or his like 45th or whatever. And I remember being very young. Happy birthday. And yeah, happy birthday. And I <laughs> remember next week actually. Who? Yours is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we don't care. Party time. Well we'll <laughs> celebrate it on the show, you know, <laughs> next week. Um, but he my dad, it was like his birthday, and we went to Texas Roadhouse. And I've never none of his kids, like whoever was there, had ever been to a birthday there. And I just remember it being so funny that we saw the saddle come out. Right. And it was like the the, the waitress was like get on and he's like what do you know like what do you mean <laughs> and she's like well you're here like get on get on the everyone's saddle. already clapping other yeah. tables are looking at you there's no turning back now but it, <clears> i mean it's just funny did he get on yeah of course uh, he, he had, he had to, to get on. on but i you know i just started a new job and i now work in an office and it was someone's birthday yesterday and happy birthday happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> and guy's super nice but not gonna lie it was just very awkward. Like I felt awkward. Oh, so you guys didn't do anything? It was just kind we of like weird. saying happy birthday to him. But you know, he's <laughs> Wait, like, you guys clapped. He's like a thirty-five. Wait, is that how the birthday song? You no, we didn't. No, song? we didn't. No, we didn't clap. He's like, no. we sang happy birthday. <laughs> it's not. No, we we, <laughs> we sang happy birthday to you. <laughs> my job's not Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> but he he um they reacted like Applebee's I, I remember, birthday. Like somebody was like, here, come here. Like we gotta we gotta sing happy birthday. I'm like, what? Like do you do this? And we walked up. There was maybe like ten of us, and we walked up and we sang happy birthday. And I could just feel it, like how he just didn't want to be there yeah it's weird. and especially in like a professional space where most of most of the time the office is very quiet and it was like everyone just acknowledging him standing around and what is he supposed to do he he's, you know so i have something that doesn't correlate with birthdays but does include like the work atmosphere and like people accomplishing life accomplishments outside of work yeah we might have to cut this i'll have to think about it to see <laughs> like i'll say it but i'll have to think if we're gonna have to air it but one of our employees had a kid, and as a, a company, we were like, hey, you let's just get some Venmos together. Oh, nice. Get a good gift for the guys. So I was like, okay, I'll Venmo, like, 25 bucks. So we Venmo, like, 25 bucks, get him, like, a gift card, and a gift for the, new ba- the newborn, his first kid. I find out three or four weeks later, the kid was not his. <laughs> his wife cheated on him, and it wa- he found out he wasn't the father. That's why. So I paid twenty five dollars <laughs> for a baby that wasn't even his. <laughs> so what did so he we do? Have, we, had, we had another employee that got a baby, had a recent baby. <laughs> you gotta ask. You gotta be they like, they were like, "Hey, we're gathering Venmo." I'm like, <laughs> "Not this time," because <laughs> the last time I Venmo for a baby, it wasn't even his kid. <laughs> yeah. It was nuts. I'll think about it for that. Like, did we, I had did to we, say. Did you ever talk to that? Did, did anyone ever talk to that guy? Like he? I mean, he probably spent it on that child, though, right? Or no. I don't know. Well, no, he still he works is. there. I just don't know. I hope so. But if, if your wife no, cheated on you. I wouldn't spend it on that kid, no. And you got the money. You wouldn't give it to the kid. No. It's not your kid. So you just racked up probably a couple hundred dollars from yeah, your Yeah, I never office. got the money back. Oh, wow. 
wild. So then another person had a kid, and they're like, hey, we're collecting. I'm like, not this fucking time. That's <laughs> Last wild. Last time, it wasn't even the dude's kid. That's wild. <laughs> it's All right. like an episode of uh, Jerry. What is that? Yeah, or uh, uh, Mari. 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 It's like, you are not the father. <laughs> Dude, I was heartbroken. That show is funny, though, because you know, the outcome... Have you, have you ever watched Mari? That's not my do, thing. Okay, but do you know what it is? Or like Jerry Springer and that shit? Kind of, but Mari... The whole idea of Mari is that the usually somebody, either it's the guy or the girl, um, will come and say, like, it's their child. Like, yeah. the other... Like, they've had the child together. Right. And... Usually, probably, like, the, the relationship's rocky, and somebody probably cheated, and, like, the whole idea is that you don't know if it's actually the child or not. So, right. one person in the relationship wants it to be the child of the person who's there, <laughs> and the other person does not want it to be their child. So, it's just really interesting. And, like, dude, those reactions of people when they're when Mari's they do like a uh <laughs> they do a DNA test or whatever yeah. like oh like, or paternity test and dude when the, you are the, not the father yeah when the dads are sitting there and they do not want it to be their child and it's just like Mari has <laughs> Mari has the envelope and he sits there and he's like <laughs> and they're all sitting there everyone's on the edge of their seats and he's like you are like, not the father <laughs> and the guy and the guy like, <laughs> oh! <laughs> He's, He's like, like standing up. <laughs> it's like what? And the That's mother's so crying. Right. She's like so crying, fun. and then she's like, "Dude, there's been episodes where the mother will get so upset where she'll run off the set, yeah. and there's a camera, dude. Oh yeah, they run off <laughs> these videos. The cameraman's just like a fucking sprinter. He's like in a marathon. He's like." Following this woman <laughs> who's running through the hallways of this backstage It's like, get area. the camera out of my face. Yeah, she's like that. And, he, and he's just on stage. Like, <laughs> he just yeah, they cut, they cut back and forth. It's oh great. Oh, my God, dude. Those shows are so funny. Sometimes I feel like those are staged. They are. They're 100%. Yeah. But it's great television. I love the security they get on the stage and, like, hold the them back. Big dudes. That's like... Uh, oh, what's that? That judge? Judge Judy or judge whatever. Judy, yeah. guys, the bailiffs are just standing there. <laughs> Honey. All right, we got one more. Let's we, do, we got time? Uh, well, I want to do this one. Have you yeah. ever snuck into a bar or movie when you were underage? You know what's great? When you <laughs> being... He asked me the question. That just... I thought this was so... <laughs> I mean, do you have a story where you were <laughs> under the age of 17 where, like, you try to sneak into a rated R film? Uh, I used to be nervous. Like, I, I would, like, in my eyes, as a little rye guy, if I go into a rated R film at 17, I feel like I'm going to get arrested at any moment. Once if again, you, because if you were, if you were under bitch. 17. Yeah. I feel like being under 17 and being in a rated R film like illegally, because <laughs> you would buy a ticket to like the Minions and then you would walk yeah. into this movie <laughs> and you would just like walk around the theater, look at all the, the marquees and try to find what movie you're going to. But it was like, I, like, I felt like so much adrenaline. Like I remember <laughs> doing it. I saw Ted. I think I saw the original Ted. That's a good one to sneak in. And that was a rated R film. And I think I was like 15. And, or 16 or whatever. I was just like just under it. But I remember going with a friend and just being – I was like very goody two-shoes growing up, like very yeah. by. And I remember doing this and just feeling like – Well, because we both have strict parents. Yeah, like the, so much anxiety <laughs> sitting there like – I tell <laughs> you, Mom, I'm watching Ted today, baby. <laughs> like, I get embarrassed. I'm 16. Yeah, like Let's that. see some titties. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it was like it was just like partial like nudity a little bit oh he's smoking weed mom yeah <laughs> but i remember that was like the worst thing in my brain like i'm like a felon i should go to jail like all i'm doing is watching a movie that i should have waited a the year the cleaning guy who gives no shits comes in your yeah. row <laughs> like there was just so much going on i'm gonna need id head. sir <laughs> that's, that's no, not happening I, dude because i dude have you ever seen that where i've seen where um, rated R films, like something super, super popular, like maybe it was like The Hangover or something. I've seen security guards, or they used to do it, where they would come in and they would be yeah. like, oh, they would check the theater. Well, that like, happened. That's scary shit. Like, dude, what happens? That happened with us. Like, we were dating. She's two years younger than me. So, like, she wasn't the age. And they're like, are you, uh, was I of age to have her, like, because you have to like, be. Like, I was her guardian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you have to be. I this think, is fucking weird. I think it was the age. <laughs> Was it was it twenty one or twenty five where like you have to be over the age of twenty one to pay for someone's ticket who's under the age of seventeen for a rated um, R film? Like you're like the adult. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but to sneak, yeah, I think just sneaking it. You've, the, you've the only time I thought like I, my theory on the whole bar thing when you're under twenty one, I never wanted to do that because I wanted to experience being twenty one. Yeah, we did try to sneak into a hookah bar. We under did. The age. Well, we didn't. It was our friends. They really like that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So. That was it. But yeah, that's that's our show.
That is our show. All right. Well, I thought you had a story about how you got locked out of your house yesterday. Okay, yeah, we'll do one more. We'll All right, last one. one. Uh, last one we got here. It was just, have you ever locked your keys in the car or have been locked out of your house? So I was maybe five seconds away from locking my keys in my trunk in Newark yesterday. That would be a bad place to do that. Two hours away from my home <laughs> um, or the spare key, two hours away from the spare key, and I was seconds away from locking my keys in the trunk because the way it was like, Right now, because I'm moving, I'm working in Newark, but I'm also working like 30 minutes away, but I live two hours away. My clothes are everywhere. Like every everything's like I'm living out of my car. So when I work for the devils, I have I change my change of clothes is in my back seat and like yeah. my change of shoes from work, everything. So I get out of the car, go to my trunk. I like put on a new shirt, like do whatever. I put my keys just like in my trunk. I sat there whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I change. I close my trunk. I go to my front door. My car, because it's older, is manual. So I have to manually press down all the locks in my car. <laughs> oh, I know. So all of, my, <laughs> all of my doors are locked. I had just like my last, um, my last door, like my driver's seat. I was about to – I put the lock oh, down. Shit. The door's still open because I'm in it. And I'm like, phone, keys. I'm like, phone, wallet, key. Key, where are my keys oh, and i'm like shit. in it i'm checking it was not in the ignition i'm like open the trunk my keys were in there i was within five seconds i would have screwed myself there you go advantage of having a shitty car one time i got <laughs> advantage <laughs> advantage of having a shitty car uh my sister one time i don't want to call her i'm calling out my brother and sister today that's what you do that's uh, sibling love you know we were at texas roadhouse and we get there and i've never seen this before she got out of the car and locked her car like she locked her keys in the car in the parking lot before we were going in the dinner, but the car was running. I've never seen that in my entire life. I've seen that. I, so, that happened to so me. So you get to the restaurant, forget to turn the car off, just get out and go eat, and you lock your keys in the door. We had to call AAA. They had to get the thing go. Did you not, the car is still running. Did you not realize <laughs> until you were done your meal, or did you realize before? No, it was like she got out. We're walking. I'm like, your. She cars. didn't realize. I'm like, your car is running, <laughs> and then she went to go do it. It was locked. I was like, that's. At least turn the car off and lock your keys in there. Yeah. That happened to me. <laughs> That's a whole where, other level of stupidity. This was this was bad. It happened to me where I was. It was in the winter. It sucked. I was about thirty minutes from my house. I went. I was doing some errands or whatever. I found a random like TD Bank, yeah. and I went to go in the TD Bank to do something, and I had my car running, and because it was cold, so I kept like the heat on, whatever. I ran and shut the door. Door locked behind me, so the car's running with the heat on. Doors locked. Could not get in. Go up to the TD Bank, bank closed. So I'm stuck in between the door of the TD Bank oh, that's closed and my door. Thank God I had my phone on me. If my phone was in my, if I left my phone in my car and I was just sitting there in the cold <laughs> in the winter, <laughs> get a hitchhiker right there. Yeah, like literally, I called my dad and I'm like, hey, he's like, I won't be there for like 35 minutes. I'm like, that's fine. The car's just running. He's like, it's fine. Don't. Worry well, you were in a parking spot at least, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I was in a parking spot, but the thing's just running. And I'm sitting in the freaking cold, freezing my <laughs> ass off. At like five thirty at night, waiting for my dad to get off of work to like come unlock my car, but yeah, Tell just me. pay attention. I mean, the newer cars, my girlfriend, she can't lock her keys in her car. It really? will not allow it. No, like if your keys are in your car and she shuts the doors and all her doors are locked, it'll automatically open the door for her. Damn yo, like I need one of those. You just need money. That's just what it <laughs> is. Need- money. Money the, rules the, newer the world. Le- yeah. Newer Lexuses, you can put your hand on the handle and it'll just unlock for you if yep. the keys are in practice. My buddy, Shawnee Brony, has that. Yeah. So they literally know. touches the car and it turns. I'm like, what? Except my mom is like, I, I want to like heat up my car before I go in there. You have to put the VIN number into the app every like six months, or else what will happen is is it'll either not work or you'll go up, you'll put your hand on the door and open it up and the car shuts off <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> well, my window doesn't go down, but that was a great shot, yeah. baby. <laughs> Our window cars, doesn't go yeah. down. My Our... steering wheel doesn't turn. There's a lot of shit going on. Life's a party. We'll do well. We'll get new cars. You know, <laughs> that's just how it works. Uh, good show. Check us out yeah. next week. Halloween show. It's going to be a day late after Halloween, but who cares? It's going to be. We go gonna... our own schedule. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna be festive. You know, Halloween festive. vibes. Um, we'll do the Post Malone thing. I think I'm going to come as Post Malone. I'm... We're going to come in costumes, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, well, maybe I'll come as something different. I'll have to think. Okay. We'll see. Well, yeah, we'll do the costume, but I can't wait. We'll do the poll on Instagram. So definitely... If you're not following us already on Instagram, TikTok, at Life's a Party Pod, we're getting towards 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's what Ryan really wants. Can't wait for that. Oh, you want it too. I want it too. But Ryan always <laughs> talks about it, so it's like, yeah. yeah. S- subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. We're doing some great things, so we appreciate you guys listening and getting to the end. As always, music. Take us out. Peace, baby. Later. Later.